Welcome back to the channel. It's a windy October morning. Uh, I've got something a little different here. It is a Bud K surplus scratch and dent box. Uh, it's 20 bucks. These things are really hard to get and I've also got a bonus item in here. Uh, as you can see the box is already open because for some reason the post office felt it was necessary to inspect the package before they could deliver it to me. So with that said, I'm going to get things moved around. We're going to get started on this. So what's in the box? First of all, there's an invoice which I've already pulled out. A Bud K catalog. And lots and lots and lots of bonus paper. He said it is a windy October morning, so please excuse the wind noise. Alright, so what this is is a scratch and dent military surplus bag. I'm trying a little bit different angle and it tends to suck. So yeah and by the way I've had a lot of complaints about the angle I usually use with my videos. I've got no choice. I've got a big camera. I can't replace it right now. So that said I'm gonna get on with this. 1999 is supposed to be four items. There's two, three, four, and hey, number five. So, first things first is a tactical cartridge belt. There we have it, it's an M48 Ops, 20 cartridge belt, uh, two inch nylon web, adjustable up to 56 inches. And let's go ahead and get it out of the package real quick. There we have it, 48 Ops. You know, there was just a slight breeze until I started this. Anyway, and got a pistol case. Again, this uh, this was 20 bucks, so no matter what I got, I'm not gonna complain. I don't complain anyway, I don't get mad at these. I like opening these mystery packages, and uh, I hope you enjoy it too. Next we have, what is this? An M48 Ops drawstring pouch. So, comes with a bag in it. Oh, there's more in it. There's a British small transport bag used that's inside of the pouch. So, there we have it. Nice. Now, the drawstring bag. It's a nice nylon bag. Attachment straps pouch in the back and then uh, yeah it's got the, the drawstring here on the side and I'll, I'll tell you one other thing I cannot see the monitor on my camera so I'm not a hundred percent certain everything is in uh, is in the shot so please excuse me if it isn't it's a nylon line bag it's a nylon line bag so there we have it, M48 Ops, dra uh, drawstring nylon bag. What we got in here? Looks like it's leather. It's, gonna be, it's Yugoslavian. Lo heavy, oh wow. Holy crap. Is this? It's part of an optics unit, but I'm not 100% certain. I'm sure there's a lot of you out here that can tell me exactly what this is. <coughs> it's got a part number here, 3-45-395-8 alpha. That is, a, well, it's set for a rail, so it's uh, some type of spotting or scope. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, uh, that's a nice scope. Wow, if I could get it to work on my camera, I would. Yeah, I'm, oh my God, yeah. Uh, it's got, I mean, it's it's old, it's used, it's military surplus, what do you expect? Uh, it's got a couple of filters, 
Got a cleaning brush, horse hair that has deteriorated to nothing. Got a cleaning rag, cleaning towel. Uh, that's a hard, hard leather. It's uh, with a, a wooden buck in the bottom for the uh, optic. It's really nice. I'm, uh, God, I am so happy with this. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm impressed with that. Uh, that's more than paid for the, uh, the purchase right there. That'll look really nice on my, uh, on the shelf. Cool, so there we have it, Yugoslavian scope. And this is unidentified. It is, oh my God. Two piece utilities, I think. We've got a utility top. Uh, can't remember what camo this is from what nation. Uh, 50% polyester, 50% cotton. So it's nice and heavy. It's got a hood with a little bit of a net. And also in that package was a pouch. I assume the pouch is well. I know better than to make assumptions on here because I'm always wrong so some sort of utility pouch sack whatever you want to call it it's got three pockets maybe more I can't tell for sure but uh, yeah I would say I sure as hell got my money's worth I'm sure some people are gonna argue and some people are going to bitch about my camera angle this time, too. But you know what? It's what I can do. So, Yugoslavian scope. This, uh... Can't remember what European nation these cam uh, this camouflage is from. Drawstring bag. Paratroopers drawstring bag. Pistol case. Cartridge belt. So that's what I got for my 20 bucks. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with it. Uh, the bonus item is, this had nothing to do with that, but uh, yeah, I ordered it too. These are chocolate chirp cookies. They are from Cowboy Cricket Farms. What's inside? A protein cookie you'll want to eat. Our crickets eat an all-organic, corn-free and soy-free diet. Uh, it's made from unbleached wheat flour, butter, semi-sweet chocolate, ground uh, crickets, brown sugar, flaxseed, egg, molasses, vanilla extract, salt, and baking soda. Here's the, uh, the back if you want to pause and read it for yourself. 250 calories per. And there's uh, one cookie in each package. So, it says it's supposed to have the equivalent of 30 crickets in it. Yeah, I'll eat a few bugs. There we have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Click like if you liked it. Comment on it. Tell me how bad it sucks. Not that I haven't heard it before. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Click like. Share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. Uh, Y'all have a good day. Say good morning, Penny. Say good morning. Nope, she's not going to talk for us.